Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. This is going to be a seven minute video because it is 6.38 in the p.m. 12 hours in front of this computer today. Well, no, not exactly 12 hours. I did get to go outside and do a little bit of work. So about 10 hours in front of this computer today. Just sitting here on the dock of the bay watching the tide roll. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, all of the individuals who have elected to purchase a new program have received their packets. The instructions are included, and that will be in the future for everyone. The same instructions, same documents will be included. You don't receive all of the documents. You only receive the starter packet. Everything else after that is on us. We will take care of everything from that end. There will be other people who are going to try to duplicate, which is why we can't give you everything. Sorry, there are going to be people who are going to even uh, purchase a package so that they could see what we're doing, and that will be a waste of time. Use your knowledge, create your own programs for this one. Why? Because we are trying to get something accomplished that has never been done before. Okay? Never been done. Nobody's ever used this act. I've already checked the case law. Nobody has ever used this act to get something accomplished. Shame on us for not recognizing and doing the research on the stupid word any Federal Reserve Bank. If we had just looked up the word any and understood the positives and negatives when it becomes a determiner or an integer, integers are numbers, not words. But people understand what you mean. That descriptive word, and you look up Federal Reserve, there is no definition for Federal Reserve. But when you look up the definition for Federal Reserve Bank, Guess what you find? The word bank. Because it's just a bank. Just like you're just a bank. There's nothing special about a bank. It's just a place that does banking business, that receives deposits. Yes, some of them are regulated because they engage in commerce, so they have to be regulated by commerce or Congress. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of work that has gone into this. And we are going to try to stay ahead of the curve, ahead of the game, with all of you. Now, we have integrated AmeriLegion. Those of you who are a part of AmeriLegion and who have ventured into that, you will automatically. Now, hold on. Just want to make sure some of you got, you know, four or five loans and things like that. We'll only be doing one not three but you do get to write off the debt on the three you don't get debt being written off with the homeowners program the so-called save our home that doesn't happen here you have to do that on your own okay Amerilegion, legion that's done for you well why not just go to Amerilegion? legion well you could you could but Amerilegion, legion pay attention for the rest of everyone else from Friday forward, for everyone else, AmeriLegion has so-called dollar amount cutoffs. So you could go to AmeriLegion. It's the same price, the same work. And then you get to add some writing off debt. That's up to you. Okay, if it becomes a problem, then we'll have to put an end to it. But for right now, there is no restrictions on that. That's just us letting you know. All right. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain something because a lot of people were misunderstanding it. We founded an organization called the Sitcom Arbitration Association. The courts have bombasted that organization, but it's still in business. Do you know why? Because it hasn't done anything wrong. It hasn't violated a single law. Now, guess what? Remember IRS tax topic 453? If somebody owes you a debt, owes you money, you have a bad debt, especially if you use the accrual method. Well, guess what, people? <sighs> you do an arbitration and the other party defaults. The only thing the arbitrator is there to do is determine whether or not there was a valid contract, 
whether or not the party was notified, and did they have an obligation to respond. That's all the arbitrator's there to do. And once the arbitrator makes that decision, it isn't based on this law, that law, or Jimmy Crack's law. It's based on the facts. Did they have a duty to respond? Did they respond? No, they didn't. They automatically lose, people. Sorry, there is no way around that. They're in default. Once they're in default, after receiving notice, after having a duty to respond, they're in automatic default. The arbitrator has no other duty but to follow the contract as written. The arbitrator can't bring in their own opinion. The arbitrator can't, I'm going to do it this way. That's not what an arbitrator does. So, sorry, if I'm trying to create tax credits, and I did exactly that with organizations that I had a prior agreement with, and once they defaulted, I don't have to go after a motion to confirm. The IRS says, according to their manual, that you ain't got to go to court. So I didn't go to court. I waited for 90 days. Once the 90 days was up, actually 100, because you got to give them 10 days to receive the, the packet, to receive the award. But after those 10 days, they can't say nothing. Then uh, the 10 days, 90 days. After the 100 days, they cannot say nothing. They cannot challenge it. They cannot get a motion to vacate. It's a legitimate debt, and nobody can say anything different. That's why arbitration is valid. That's why arbitration works. If you're trying to get up out of the gutter, why don't you start with the contracts? Hey, gotta go. I said seven minutes. It's been seven minutes. Have a good day, everybody.